All right, got a product during the morning. I'm gonna have this guy pull it. I don't know if you can see that. You got nice. I'm in the produce area, ran my hose to their hot water hookup. We'll turn on like halfway. And I have it running through produce. the ball valve make sure the refrigeration is shut down in this particular case got my shower head sprayer Right now it's set for center. Actually, where is it set at? Where is the arrow? Oh yeah, right here. That's set for shower. I'm gonna set it for jet. Hopefully I could just blast right through that ice <clears throat> without filling this thing up too much. And then when it's all cleared out, come back.
plastic. Okay, so ice build up in there. by water source like this so if you don't have a close by water source you have no choice but to use trash cans said I got everything together cleaned up put my toe kick on let's start it up Yeah, that's 
going. It's getting cold. All right, I'm gonna put the deck lids back on. And then, um, once it gets cold enough, let it cool down for a while, then throw it in a defrost, test all my heaters, and go from there. Okay, I got my deck lids on. Pretty cold. Temperature's at nine degrees right now. Right now I have it on mid-max. Right there. Shows me my maximum temp when I first turned it on. Shows me my minimum, which it is right now. And it gives me an average. So, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it on minimum, because I'm gonna go put a defrost right now. Um, and test out the heaters, which there are only two. You got these black ones here. That's for the front of the coil. And then you got these red ones right here. Actually, there's three. No, there's just those two, because you got this one heater here that runs through the pan. It runs it straight across and then it loops around and it comes back. And so that's just one heater right there. So I'm gonna go upstairs, put in defrost and test out the heaters. All right guys, I'm over here in the motor room. Here's the map. Here's the front of the store. Here is my case I was working on, 19A. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that in defrost. So this is the main menu. Put in the code. And enter, scroll down, find my case. And what do you know? It's already a defrost by the time I get up here. Perfect timing. So uh, I'm gonna go downstairs now, check defrost, make sure all my heaters are working, and then uh, that'll be it. So let's go check it out. All right, I'm here at my case. Uh, I got my amp meter. Got out amps. This is for, oops, sorry. This is for my coil heater. Three amps, it's good. And this is for my, my uh, pan heater. Look at that, no amps. Let's check voltage. Got it on voltage. Disconnect this. Sorry, guys. All right. So I disconnected this plug. I'm gonna. This is where my power comes in for my heater, for my pan heater. I'm just gonna put my probes in there. shop but I might have to order this it's a Hussman case so that way it could just be a plug-and-play instead of cutting and stripping all these wires all right there is a part two to this thing all right guys so I am done for right now I'm gonna turn this uh, take this out of D well I'll just let it go through the defrost 
and um, when I get the heater in, we'll continue it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Uh, see you on the next service call. Okay, guys, I'm back. Had the case pulled already. I'm a little early. Um, but I recorded a little late is what I meant. So I started pulling the heater apart, unplugging it, took the screws out, not all the way. And then now I'm in the middle of this goes through here. So I'm gonna take this out right here. It's kind of slide it underneath. So um, I got the new heater right here. It's exactly the same thing. Same plug. All right, got the new heater in. meter to amps. I'm gonna put my meter and see what we're pulling. Now these are pan heaters. They don't pull very many amps. Uh, we only got like a 0.65 amps. And these usually pull around that or one amp the most. So it's a small heater too. So as we were getting before, we, weren't get, we were getting zero amps. Like literally 0, 0.00 so that we're getting uh, 0 0.65 amps which is good and an FYI these are um, tub cases open air so that the fans always stay on and defrost they never turn off like reaching frozen foods they always stay on and defrost just to let you guys know any new guys that are looking that's what's going on with these and if you really want to be or even test them out you can touch the heater put some water on there watch it sizzle up so yeah it's gonna start drying out it's really very low amperage yeah, it's not even that hot yet just turned it on comments leave them below like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys on the next service call